Oh man, I'm too low. Let me, uh, <laughs> hey let me everyone, put this up. I'm live at CO Space. Oh, Tampa, I'm Florida. trying to be well, live. Next to Tampa, Florida. We, it's different. Every week we have Aloha Fridays, and uh, we're not doing our normal telecast. Hopefully, you got the word that because we're at CO Space, Shane and I are both here together. So yeah, this is different, but we're gonna have a lot of fun because we got so many incredible, talented people around us amazing people and you know last week we did the evolution of high performance part one two is really unique because we got all these high performance folks can we just throw in one buddy right now shane absolutely all right this is dr david gruder say hi, hi to david this guy is brilliant absolutely brilliant and understanding you know well we're all about the mind right well this this guy does it and does it so well. He's a good friend. He's an instructor here at CEO Space. So I just put him on the spot. If you had one thing to say about what like business or life that's good, that we're involving, we are evolving into, what would be that be? We, oh my gosh, wow, that we're <laughs> evolving into. We are evolving into almost instantaneous manifestation. I mean, the, the time lag between a thought and an expression of that thought is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And because of that, there are people who are getting left behind because they don't yet know how to do that instantaneous transformation and they don't know why because the, good, the positive thinking and, and all of those things that are so helpful, all of the new thought stuff, is not working for them because here's the secret we... Tell it, baby, tell it! <laughs> We live our lives at the level of our wounds, not our wishes. Ooh, that'll be a quote of the week. That's Just a saying. Secrets there. Write that down. Make Write sure. it down, baby. <laughs> Just saying. Leaders build businesses at the level of their self-development limitations, despite their higher intentions. So here's the deal: when things are going well, and when you are manifesting effortlessly and rapidly, you're good. You're good to go. And when your best efforts to use positive thinking to help that happen better are not working well, it means you got blocks inside you that need to be identified, they're in shadow, they're hidden, they need to be drawn out into the light and cleared away so you can use those great tools in effective ways. Woo! Hey, man, do I hear an amen out there? Amen. Give me five, give me five. <laughs> Welcome to the Extreme Focus family, brother. You've always been a part, you just didn't know it. <laughs> well, thank you, it's a pleasure to be part of the family. Thank you. I want to bring the Unshackle owner in real quick. Oh. <laughs> the Unshackle oh, un business owner. Hey, boys and girls. Hey, guys, how you doing? Aaron Young, I mean, is this cool? I mean, I know this is totally different than our regular Aloha Fridays. <laughs> And, uh, but we're going to take advantage. Yeah, we got that. Look we at the Aloha spirit. I, 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 even you know, though you guys don't have Aloha gear on, we can still have the Aloha spirit. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's, it's about. what it's about. Aloha is love, yeah. baby. And we want to bring the love. So I'm just going to go with you. And then we're, we got so many cool people. Yeah, here. look at all these good people. So, you know, you're the CEO of Laughlin and Associates. Yep. yep. Uh, does so many great things. But beyond that, because of all your knowledge of working with so, I mean, gosh, so many businesses that you've seen a lot of things. What advice can you give us out here? What, well, what advice do you want to hear about? I have so many things to say, <laughs> I could explode all over you. What's, what's, what, do they most, what do they need to hear today? Well, you we're talking me. about how you, the evolution of high performance. Uh, right? From an athletic standpoint, the you know, next step, the next step, step they need to take. We yeah. truly believe it's the mindset. You can bring all those other things, but the mindset's got to be there to get to that next level. So mindset, that's exactly right. I mean, the biggest problem that we see uh, with business failure is that the person that started that company they had some skill you know they could they could play football right they could <laughs> scramble right they could do whatever but if they don't have a specific a really really clear and explicit outcome in mind they they just are busy being busy instead of busy getting someplace and that's what happens in almost all company failures they they're busy but they don't know where they're going they can't define the finish line they don't know how to define success and they either don't make any progress towards becoming very successful or they burn out because they're they're not they're working their tail off but they're not fulfilled they don't they don't get to what they would love so an understanding what the finish line looks like the reason that that sports are exciting is because we can watch a scoreboard and we can know are we how many penalties how much time what's the score what's going on but if you watched a bunch of people running up and down a field for three hours and there was no way of knowing what the heck was going on, you would go, you'd be hanging out at the 
getting a, a beer or you know in the bathroom <laughs> or, or going somewhere else. And so this is the same problem that happens in our lives and our business. If we don't know where we're trying to get, we're never gonna get there. So the more explicitly you can define the outcome that you want, the more likely you are to build a successful life, successful relationship, successful business. Uh, and, and once you can kind of get in that zone, you can learn the exact steps you need to understand in order to, to not just be a great employee of your business, but to really be an owner. And that's how you become unshackled. Is uh, when, you control, when you control the assets instead of letting them control you. So you guys have a great holiday season. Have a great Merry Christmas. Thanks so much for bringing me in here for a minute. Hey, hey. You got a lot of awesome do, people do I, Hold here. on. Do I hear out there? Do I not hear from here? Do we hear an amen for it? Amen. 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 Uh, hey, uh, right. Last amen. question before you run. You talked about down the field running, yep. bringing the business. Yep. Yep. Brilliant. Yep. Have you ever seen this guy? play football so I've, I've, I have I've seen him play arena football in Portland Oregon I was broken-hearted that he left and went to China and then I thought I was ready to be a, a full-time uh, arena football guy really great and and of course the tapes would be playing uh, your dad is very proud of you uh, that one especially that clinch game where you got how many points in like the 17, last two minutes 17 points with less, no, than, less than, a than a minute 17 points in less than a minute but you know, but but let's be freaking let's be clear about the the, the, the head gladiator here. Then, um, <laughs> if if you hadn't known how much time was left, if you hadn't known exactly what the objective was, your training wouldn't have really mattered. You, if you thought you had forty five minutes, you wouldn't have played the way you did. You would have played more methodically. You would have been more careful, right? But when you when you know when you know what your constraints are, you know what what you know the deal. You know what's on the scoreboard. It, it provides fertile ground to create a magical experience, which is what that video shows. But it's, it's just, um, we can all do that in our lives. It doesn't have to just be an elite athlete. It, we can all do it, but we have to know, we have to know what our objective is. Then we can still get to breathing. it. you're still breathing, there's still time on the clock. That's right. Yeah, baby, yeah, right. baby. Hey, I think that deserves another amen. Oh, amen. 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 Type in, type in, amen. This is our new version, well, not a different version of Aloha Friday. Amen. Aloha Amen. Friday, baby. All right. Thanks, Thanks brother. Okay, you ahead. guys go. We'll see you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, right. Speaking of the, the evolution, you know, we're talking about evolution. This is the next evolution of game changers. These, a lot of these, you know, we got some youth. We got all sorts of ranges of ages and game changers. It's amazing seeing all of you guys are understanding the mindset and how powerful that is. And I know some of you guys are absolute rock stars. One little shout out, I gotta say, she had a goal, I talked to her yesterday, she has a goal of having 100 YouTube subscribers on her YouTube channel. And I gotta say, anybody watching right now, if you're live, if you're watching the replay, it doesn't matter. Go subscribe to her YouTube page. She wants to do it by 2018. I think we can do it by 2017. Yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 There's still time on the Woo. clock. So it's Ava Bunny, correct? A-V-A -A Bunny, all one word. On, uh, on YouTube. She is, is going to be a game changer. She right there. Is Look at that. Changer. Look at that. I she already is a game changer. When, when, when Pete Sanford was 16, I told the world this guy is going to be number one in the world in five years. I was off. I was off. No, it might have been five, but three years later, he won the U.S. Open. He didn't get another one. So maybe I was right. All right? So remember this. Keep this somewhere in your files. Give me five. Do we hear an amen? Amen. amen. How old are you? Oh, Ava. 11. 11 years old. All star. All of you guys are all star. So some of the activities I want to make this interactive. All of the people watching, I don't care. Again, I don't care if it's live. If you're watching the replay, do these activities with us. I got to step back a little bit. I'm cutting off my head. Um, do these activities with us. Don't just sit there and just watch and be like, oh, that's cool. It, you won't feel the effect. You won't see the message in it. Stand up, do them with us, and you'll find the value because it's it's up here. It's up in the mindset. So. And actually, the first one you could do sitting down. We did this one yesterday with the uh, with the teens, but um, oh, we got others here too. But we have yeah. others now, so and, and others back <laughs> there. So I want to just explain a little, just a little visual of, of how our mind works and how we're creatures of habit. And sometimes we have some things that make us feel a little uncomfortable. And to grow and to strengthen, you got to be able to make the uncomfortable comfortable. So. All you guys back here, here and back there. Do this back there. Come on. All right. Just fold your arms across your chest. That was easy. That took like less than a second. Most people didn't have to think about it. Was that easy? Yeah. Was that something yeah. that you had to even think about? No. no, it just happened second nature. It was, you know, habitual. You've done it enough times to where this 
You don't have to think about it, correct? So now, whatever you look down, your left over right, right over left, whatever the, that may be. Now unfold your arms, and you're going to do the complete opposite, opposite back home. If I'm left over right, so now I'm going right over left, and now we cross our arms again. Go the opposite. Dave's done this plenty of times. And he's I like, still oh. struggle. <laughs> Come on. We all struggle, right, when we're facing something out of our comfort zone. Now let me ask, was that... Did you, require a little bit more thought yeah you had to consciously think about how you do it now sitting here does it feel comfortable no no what does it make you want to do it makes you want to go right back yeah, to the comfort to zone right yeah. that's where you want to be that's where that's where you built a oh home, man. thank you thank you I'm now good. imagine <laughs> where you I'll, I'll survive now imagine where you want to go and where you're at right now with your comfort zone if you were to practice this over and over again on a daily yeah. basis okay. Eventually, both sides would be comfortable, and it would be fluid. You wouldn't even have to think about it, but it takes a practice. It takes a repetition. It takes stepping up to something uncomfortable and creating it to be comfortable. So we want success. We want that to be a habit. We want that to be an expectation. When we, when we had that comeback win that we were just talking about, our team was undefeated at that point. We already had an expectation that we were going to win. We didn't know how we were going to win, but we were comfortable in our minds that we were already the champs, even though we were down 17 points. It's kind of weird and to believe. Less than a minute. It's like unbelievable. Yeah, you got to see this. So, I so did. That's, I it. You showed me. Yeah. That's one, uh, that's one thing. Okay, so you guys saw that. Okay, now let's do some new ones that you guys haven't even seen. Okay, let's show the another power of the mind. And I'm trying to think what I want to do first. Okay, let's spread out. we got to give ourselves some room. Hopefully, we're still on camera. Oh, okay. Try to okay. scoot, scoot, scoot this way. Scoot this way. Give okay. them room so you guys can be, okay. can be okay. seen. And again, standing up. Now you guys all got to stand up back home if you're, if you're with us. Got to stand. Um, Come on. Okay. Participate. Everybody, shoulder width, feet facing straight forward. Now your feet, once they're in position, they're comfortable, they're not moving. You are stuck. You are in cement. Okay? Everybody, arm, right arm. Let's go right arm, straight out. We, got, we might need a little bit more room, actually. Here, let's just go different levels, because we are going to turn and twist. I don't want anybody slapping anybody. <laughs> it would make for a good show, though. I mean, that's that might be good. I might need a slap. Occasionally, I think I do. Okay, so everyone back home in here. Our feet are, are secure. we got our arms straight. There's no bend to our arm, either. It's our right arm. We're all going to turn to the left. Before you do, we're going to go as far as we can. And, and really stretch, see how far you can get, and find a point on that wall that you're pointing at, okay? Without bending your arms, okay? Everybody turn to your left. Turn to your left, twist. Find something. As far as you can. Ow, I'm cramping up. <laughs> find no, something I'm... without bending, without bending. Uh -huh. Find that point, see that point. See it very clearly, whatever that point is. Kind of picture what's around it, what's to the left of it, what's to the right of it. Really get a good mental image. See what's one foot, two foot past it, whatever that point is. Now come back to center. Come back to center. We all have that Don't vision. Move. We all Do know. Yeah, your keep your feet. Keep your feet in place. We all know exactly what that point was. Okay, now everybody, close your eyes. Let's stand in here. Close your eyes, and I want before you even move. Don't even move yet, but see yourself twisting with your arm out and twisting and going, reaching two feet past that point. See yourself right now before you do it physically. See yourself going past that point you just were. Once you see that in your mind. See yourself coming back to center. Keep your eyes closed. With your eyes closed, put that right arm out. Now you're gonna physically do it, but I want you to keep those eyes closed. Now twist and see yourself going two feet past what you just saw. See yourself going four feet past. Pushing yourself, pushing yourself, keeping your eyes closed. And once you see it, once you feel that you're past that point, open your eyes, see where you're at. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the power oh of the mind. Baby. I want to know back home if anybody, everybody that's doing it, did you go past the point? If you're actually doing it with us, did you go past your first point? You guys back here, did anybody go past where they yes. first started? Yeah, How far past? Two feet past? Three feet? Like three feet? Past? Like three. 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 That's a, and now, you might think, okay, now I'm just stretched up, I'm loosened, maybe that's why. Try it with other things. Try it with yeah. anything. I'll tell you right now, when you visualize success, you visualize something that you want to achieve, your mind goes into action. You find a way. It's unbelievable. So, wow. I've been doing extreme focus for many, many years. I've been working on the mind, as you all know, for 30-some years. And it's so funny, with all the principles, everything I do, right? And yet I've done US Olympic teams for the World Cup and pro football teams, pro baseball teams, Army Rangers, all that. The thing that gets, whenever I get introduced, I don't even tell them, 
If I get introduced to a team, they go, oh, this is the Viz guy. Because the visualization process of a game ready is such a major game changer. If you start visualizing in your life, you have something. What happens is, is your subconscious mind gets familiar with it. Your subconscious mind is gonna do whatever it's most familiar with. I didn't win tennis tournaments until I saw myself winning tennis tournaments. Because I would self-destruct because, well, that's new territory. It became familiar territory by seeing it in advance. Oh man, I mean, I'm just picturing <laughs> the people back here. We got a motocross right around. Oh the baby! You can start seeing yourself yeah. winning those races. We got real estate investment. He can see his team growing and doing some amazing things. I mean, all of you guys, think of it right now. I mean, if you were to channel that into whatever you're doing, you guys see yourself being successful, seeing yourself going to another level. That's great. Okay, right, so, so I'm going to say a couple things before you go on. No, this is really good. You're not yeah. allowed to. I see okay. her as the future extreme focus coach. Okay. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> All right. So this young lady, if you ever want to put on a conference in outside of Tampa, wait, no, you're on the other side. Lutz. Lutz don't West say Lutz. Southwest. Southwest Tampa. <laughs> oh, South, oh, yeah. So yeah, Tampa. So you're flying to Tampa. This is going to be the most phenomenal seminar facility. And she is creating it right now. They have the building, but she's creating the mind what it's going to look like. And I guarantee you, when it's done, it will be her vision. And it will be for all us speakers. There's a lot of speakers who follow us. When you want to come to Tampa, hey, hey, contact me. I'll put you in touch. Thank you. And, and I know if you, if we were to visualize while you're doing a brain scan on us, I'm sure we could see some stuff. We could see some oh, stuff. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> as well or what, what a little bit. I play soccer mostly. Soccer. There we go. I work with a lot of soccer players. Soccer is one of my one of my favorite sports. I play yeah. football, Americano, but yeah. <laughs> but football is one of my favorite sports to watch. I love it. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna just do two more activities if you guys are all okay with that. If you guys are okay yeah. with that. I know we're gonna go to lunch soon. We're, we're, we're all hungry, but we're hungry for knowledge. So yeah. Hungry for no are you hungry? Yeah. yeah. Do I hear an amen? Amen. 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 Write so. an amen. <laughs> <laughs> Write it or he will find you. Okay, so um, in, in the essence of visualization and having a strong vision, how important that is. Uh, another thing we're going to do, and this might be easy because you, you guys are pretty athletic. This might be kind of tough, but everybody kind of spread out again. Let's spread out. Okay, everybody balance on one foot and go with your go with your weaker leg. Oh, okay. Kind of like, yeah, yeah, let's go with go with, what, what, what I size know right away. I, I, can I, bonus points. I get yeah. bonus points for being in heels. She's got heels. Yeah, yeah, me too. So if you're back yeah. home and if this is too easy, get on, you know, roll up um, a towel or get on a balance ball, whatever it is, make it a little bit more difficult for yourself. I want you to, to struggle. Whatever at, at right now. Okay, so with it with the Okay, once you kind of find yourself, we got some pretty balanced people here. Okay, now everybody close your eyes. Ah. Right now, stay balanced, stay balanced while you close your eyes. <laughs> here we go, we got some strong competitors. Oh, we're losing somebody, and if you fall, leave it, leave it. Unbelievable, that is the longest I've ever gone. I've done this recently, practice makes perfect. That just showed me. That was me. solid too. I want to know, what was your secret to staying so solid? Well, just focusing on, I wanted to stay stable. Oh, I love that. He was saying he was saying he was it was basically positive self-talk within himself to stay the course. Okay, I, I saw I did see some wobblers now. Was yeah. it a little harder once you closed your eyes? Yeah. Yes. Why? Why did why uh, why did it become harder? Because you couldn't see things around. Speak up. Speak up. You couldn't see the things around you, so you couldn't be like, "Whoa, I'm falling! Got to catch myself before I fall on the table." Or Love that. Like Perfect. That. So it's it's seeing it, seeing it. So if you think of a point on the wall, if I'm balanced right now, if I see something that's not moving, like I'm looking at that light right now, and it's not moving anywhere, when I just stay focused on that thing, I can stay so much more balanced, so much more balanced. And then if I, if I start to get a little wobbly, I just stay, stay true, I stay focused on what it is, and I can remain balanced. If I'm all over the place with my eyes, because eye, we're very visual people, I mean, it's much harder to stay balanced, right? So. Now let's do this activity again before I kind of explain what, uh, where I'm going with this. So everybody, let's get back to, go to that same leg, and I just want to see if you guys are more balanced when you're focusing in on a point somewhere in the wall, somewhere in the wall in your home, something that's not moving. Now if it's something that's moving, don't focus on that. Focus on something stable, okay? Let's try it now. Let's go one leg, 
focus on something. You don't have to do a, you know, a, a Hail Hitler. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm tearing in because this is, you know, it's funny. Even though I somehow it's, it's focused. Stay focused. Again. Don't distract. Yeah. Don't, li- don't let him distract you. Stay focused on what you're, I mean, you can keep talking, but if they're focused, that shouldn't be able to distract them. Let's see, it's you're weird. Focus on the, on the, okay, now continue to focus on that. Continue to focus on that and then close your eyes and still see that. Still see that object. Still stay true to it. Oh, that's right. That's pretty good. That's really good. Yeah, stable. Hey, 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 round of applause for that. Can we get it? Amen for these. Amen. These yeah. So I got to tell you something. If you don't know, I mean, yeah, I'm the extreme focus guy. I don't know what it is about my balance nowadays, but when Shane first, he's the one that developed this particular thing. At the gym, actually, I was doing a yeah. strength exercise. And, and, and so he says, do this. And I did, was shocked at how I don't how have the much balance. How bad he was. How bad he I was. was. So bad. You know? And it's funny. And so we just did it for a workshop last week or so. And so I was doing it. And again, I was bad. But I was better than the last time. This time, you might not know this, but this was by far the best I've ever done it. Yeah. So, can I get an amen? Yeah. So I guess the point is is keep going. You know, I fell forward. I mean, it's like I didn't do it, even though you it's think not the I only should. Point. I'm going to get to the real point, but yeah, that yeah. is a great point. But though. I just wanted to make that point, too, because I'm in this realization, like, oh, this is exactly what I teach, but I'm learning it myself because of it. Well, it, I mean, to his point, it's like a, a baby trying to learn how to walk. I mean, <laughs> really, it was. Yeah. You don't just give up once you fall. It's like, oh, I wasn't built to walk. You continue to get back up. You continue to get back up. You start to strengthen yourself. So the point I want to make with focusing in on that focal point that's not moving that's not specifically that light but in life you got to have a strong vision right you got to have a strong right. vision whatever it is that you guys are focusing it on whatever that vision is if it's moving around if your vision is moving if you're you're going to be all over the place you're going to be balanced or out of balance and then if you have a solid vision and it is solid and it is secure and you got your eyesight on it there's times where you're going to feel wobbly there was times where i saw you guys wobbling a little there's times where we feel out of balance but if you can stay, remain to that vision, you'll find your way back. You'll find your way to that balanced state. And I noticed all of you guys were so much stronger, even when you guys closed your eyes and you were visualizing that vision or that solid point, you, you were much stronger. You were solid, <laughs> all of you guys. So that was, that was uh, that's our, one of our tests. So now, take them through the, uh, take them through the. Uh, all right, we'll do one last thing. Long test, and, last, last activity. And I hope this is beneficial because this, this is incredible. So, we're, giving, we're, we're not holding back. We're giving you guys everything. I, everything. You got to do it. You want to be my guinea pig? Sure. I'd love the honor to. Okay. Which, are you right handed? Yes, sir. Are you, everything healthy? Yes. Put your hand out and put your. There, we're going to surround around a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, a fist. Now, watch this. This is like incredible. Always works. Even when I, we did it with the U.S. Olympic team, we were one of the wrestlers. Okay, watch. I want you to tell everyone here and tell the audience. Oh, first time you first you do it. No, no talking. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I, you got, I got just resist it. Let's just I'm, see I, where. Don't let me pull it down. Okay. Don't let me pull it down. Okay. That's pretty strong. I have leverage on her, so you know, even though she's pretty strong, it wasn't that hard for me to pull down because I had leverage. Okay, right. Now resist me, but you tell the world yes and keep saying yes because there's a world out there and there's a world <laughs> around you. Come on, with conviction. Okay. Say it loud. Yes. Keep saying yes. it. Yes. Yes. Say it. Say yes. it. Get in yes. there. Yes. Yes. Come on, say it. Yes. <laughs> say it. Yes. Okay. Was that a different experience? Yes. Did, which time did I push down harder? The first time. The second time. The second time, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I, did you notice? Did you notice? I pushed harder, but I couldn't get her down. Yeah. Same leverage. Mm-hmm. Everything. Now, ready? Put your arm up there again. Watch this. Just tell everybody no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like no. I, yeah. <laughs> and if it's you're by yourself, I mean, you'll have to test this at another time. But there's other ways to do this, and I'll maybe I'll explain afterwards. But if you have a friend, do this with them. So you saw the difference, yes. right? Yeah. We practice this it. a lot. No, we never did it before. You can feel the difference. Positive energy is power. Yep. Yeah. Negativity pulls you apart. Yep. So, so we did this with the U.S. Olympic team. I brought up a wrestler. This guy was, I'm going, oh man, I'm wondering if I'll <laughs> ever get his arm down. I took his arm down fairly easily, even though he, I mean, he was a beast. When he was doing yes, I mean, I couldn't get it down, right? When he did no, it was easy. But then what we did is we had the whole team, all the 
you know, he didn't say a word. They just go, yes, yes, yes. I could pick my feet up off the ground. I couldn't even pull them at all. Then I, we said, all right, everybody. Pull ups. Yeah, pull ups I know. I said, everyone go, no, 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 no. Do you know I took, I mean, I've never seen any, I mean, usually there's a difference. I've never seen this. I ended up taking my baby finger and taking his arm down. Can you imagine that? Yeah, he didn't even have a neck. He was just pure muscle. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. But it really is an amazing example of the power of positive energy versus negativity. There really is truth. I got right now, as you're watching at home, this is, this, is, this is real, this chair. We all see it, so we go, it's real. But you know what? Between me and Shane right now, there's a lot of real stuff too. Yes. And it's the energy that's there. It really is. Have you ever walked into the room? Someone walks in the room and instantly you feel like you can cut it through. Yeah. You can you mm -hmm. can feel before they said anything, you can feel something going on. Or someone's really vibrant, you go, Man, I want I want to know that person. Yeah. So positive energy. So let's uh, let's let's take this a step further. Get your volunteer back out here. You know the next step. All right. You want you to do it? Different step? Arms? Okay. Oh, no, watch this. This is a little. This is even cooler. If you're still a little skeptical, like, oh, okay, there's some science that if you open your mouth on no, you're actually weaker just because of the O sound. No, no, no. no. Let's let's try something else. Okay, just I'm going to gonna try it here. What I want is everyone here. All right, you put your arm out. You're not going to let me pull you down, right? We just talked about it. Mm -hmm. I gave away a lot already. I saw. I don't normally give it away. I didn't know we were going to even take the time to do it. Oh, we're doing. I it. want everyone there at home. Just let's say, type it. Let's type, okay. Type, type in this one when she goes this next. We're all gonna yell yes. You're not gonna say a word. Okay. We're all gonna say yes, yes, yes. We're gonna encourage her. And you guys type in yes, yes, yes. I feel like virtually maybe we'll yeah. feel yeah. Totally yeah. there. If you guys this is this is new experience. Yeah. Let me pull your arm okay. Ready? Just be quiet. Okay. All of us. And, and hold your arm up. Ready? Go, guys. Yes, 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 yes. I want to see some typing in there. Awesome. <laughs> we, got some yeses. we got some yeses. That, okay. She was stronger than when she was saying yes. I think. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. there was a strength both yeses. Right. There was but a strength. I think there was. But there was. I, don't know, I had to. Go, I don't know if you knew. I had to go stronger. Okay. You you almost gave in though. Here. Yeah, I did. Almost. There was a moment where I thought, oh, she's giving in, and then all of a sudden, and I I believe it was because the yeses were Support still coming. Her. Even this has got to be a harder place for you to hold up, right? right? Yeah. Somehow. I couldn't get past here, right? Still, it's still pretty <laughs> strong, but that's a weaker place normally. All right, ready? Cool. All right, yes, we're gonna go negative even no, at home. No. Yeah, no. we're so gonna. Everybody everyone, say no. Or just, just say no. Feel you're the gonna, no. You, you gotta be a strong. Type the no. I'm gonna be strong. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. But really, uh, delete really, those yeses. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Okay. Yeah. Let the nose come right now. Are you ready? Pull it out. Ready? Everyone, now. No. 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> I could have done that with a bit. Did you just <laughs> you do that on purpose? No, I promise I didn't. I, I promise. Mean, <laughs> you back, you're on camera. It happens every time. I've even had, I told you, the Olympic, I was doing a, 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 a tight end for the Tampa Bay um, Buccaneers. Buccaneers. Pittsburgh <laughs> <laughs> Steelers? No, 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 no. no, no, no. What are you talking about? It was Tampa Bay. I'm trying to think oh, of his name. Oh, baseball. All, no, football. Jeez. Tampa Bay, defensive end, all pro. This guy was a monster, and I'm like, Oh my God, this might not, not work. Just like the Olympic, but he was so tall and big and he was just like, I mean, it just, every time it's worked, every time. So think in you're out there, if this is really that truthful, why not create a winning habit where you're creating positive moments? When I work with people, and Shane does the same thing, we always, if you go into a meeting, or if you go into a game, whatever your sport, it doesn't matter. I always have my clients text me, what were your wins? Three wins. It's just always looking at the positive gives you a strength beyond your own. You wanna stay in that energy. I mean, you wanna stay in that positive energy. It's contagious, you attract more. Come back in. Yeah, you attract more positive energy to you. So again, still skeptical on that, try I. I encourage you to experiment with many things. I'll do it all the time. I mean, if you think of, if you want to jump up high, put a sticker up on the wall, and with the power of yes, you can jump up a little higher. I guarantee you're going to find a physical strength just from a few words and just from an energy. I do it when I go bowling or, or if I'm putting. If 
I'm putting. I mean, it might be just in my head, you know, so people don't think I'm crazy. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, I've, I've experimented with a lot of different ways. It's so easy to do, but that which is easy to do is easy not to do. So stay in that positive energy of yes. So this has been your a unique Aloha Friday. A little different. It's been fun. I've had fun. A lot you of fun. Had fun? Oh, yeah. 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 So next week, we end the season. And we'll be back after the first year. But we, this will be the third part to the evolution of, of high performance. Yes. And, and we, yes. It's an alley. Yeah. And I will tell you a story next week that you will not want to miss on what we just did. And it's remarkable. I, and I can't wait. I'm on. No, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell <laughs> we're gonna, you. We're going to cut Hold you me short. Back. Hold me back. you got to be on next Friday. And remember, if you came in late, these things go on to YouTube. Extreme Focus TV and experience the wealth of wisdom that's going to move you to higher ground. This is Friday. We do it on Friday because we want you to finish the week strong. I do on Sunday, as you all know, my game ready to start your week strong. Finish and start and strong. I, I want to say, since we're so competitive, I, uh, I do, if you love this content, we would love for you guys to share it out, encourage others to, to watch this, even if it's a replay. I mean, it will be a replay because we're about to end right now. Share it with others, share the joy, do these activities with some friends. But again, we're competitive. I want <laughs> really? my video, we have two right now going. We have Dave's stream and my stream. I want my video to be shared more than his. So the competition No way, talk. no way. Help, Don't me, help hey, me beat hey, Dave. Any of help you out there, Dave. think of experience over youth. Experience <laughs> over youth. <laughs> Come on, baby. Show up. Show up. Hey, so to end, you know, since it's Aloha Friday, I want everybody to give the shaka. Yeah. shaka. Yeah. Everybody say Aloha. We're going to do aloha. one Aloha. Okay, okay. You ready? Ready? One, two, three. Aloha. aloha. Thank you, guys. Aloha.